back everyone. Today is day five of the 13 days of Halloween. I am really excited to show this Medusa look to you and I hope you've been enjoying the 13 days of Halloween so far. Without further ado, let's get started. I first started this look with outlining everything in white. I just wanted to map out how I wanted my face structure to look and where my scale should be going. This is eventually going to be covered up with body paint, so you do not need to do this step. You can just follow along after. Poor Medusa has unfortunately run into Perseus and is in the middle of turning to stone. I am personally doing a marble look today and so I'm just mapping out where the marble versus my skin is going to go. I'm next just filling in those sections either with white or the darker gray on the other side. Once you're all divided up, go ahead and take a bigger brush and kind of blend in the two together. We're going to make this look a little more like it's transitioning over a little bit later, but this is going to help. I'm then setting everything with a powder and then putting a little bit of a highlight on my cheekbones. I'm then just mapping everything out again like I did with the white body paint. I'm doing this with shadow first since I wanted to realign where my map would go, and shadow is a bit easier to cover than trying to move black body paint. However, if you're feeling brave, go for it. To help show how I shade my scales before going in with my black outline, I am just taking a black shadow here on my gray side and filling in all the edges of my scales. I'm then making sure I concentrate in the corners to give them more depth and leave the center blank as that will be our natural highlight. I then go in with all my black and start outlining my scales and then, you can guess it, shading them all in. Don't forget to transition into a lighter color on your marble side. I'm using a mid-tone gray. It's now time to marble our one side. I'm taking the same gray I used on the other side and tapping it on with a nice sponge. I'm then going over the top of that with the white to break up the gray a little bit more, and then going in with a fine brush and adding the cracks and texture you see in marble. If you want a more in-depth tutorial, I would suggest checking out my marble statue tutorial as it will give you in-depth directions. Now, we're just gonna fill in all those scales. I was going to do more of a snake-like lip, but I didn't really care how it was turning out, so I'm just filling in my top lip only with the gray from the marble side. This will help separate your upper jaw from your lower jaw. To give these scales a little extra pop, I'm taking gold powder and going over the top of my scales on the gray side, and then silver on the marble side. I completely jump around on this makeup, so right now I'm just trying to add some shading to separate my upper jaw from my lower jaw. Again, be aware what colors you're using on the marble side versus the skin side. To make the transition stand out a bit more, I'm taking a dark gray and tapping that between the two divisions. I'm making sure to keep it messy as this wouldn't be a clean transition. We're then going to add a little bit of color to it later. Now I'm just filling in my eyebrows, making sure my one side is black and then a deep gray on the other. I'm then just shading in general around my contour areas and giving things more definition as I need. Now we gotta add some glam to those eyes. I'm taking a dark gray and adding that to my outer corner and blending that into my crease. 
I'm then adding a nice cat eye before I pack on some glitter glue and then a crap ton of gold glitter. Only use cosmetic safe glitter. Please don't put real glitter around your eyes. It can damage your eyes. Now that you've been warned about safety, I am now finishing this look with some gray on my lower lash line before topping everything off with a nice coat of mascara. I'm also throwing a little bit of red on my waterline to give it a little more creepy look. I'm then filling in my center scales with a bit of gold to give it a little more contrast before adding some more gold and silver to the top of my scales on my face. I am also using silver glitter on the other side to match my marble effect. I am then adding a bit of that gold to my transition as well to help separate it a bit more and you're done! I really hope you enjoyed this look and you recreated this Halloween. If you do, please tag me on Instagram so I can see your Medusas. Happy hunting everyone!